Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey here, uh, bringing you a quick diagnostic video today. Uh, with Dell computers, they come standard with uh, diagnostic software preloaded in. This is a great tool if you're having a bunch of different kind of errors, a bunch of different things going wrong, you can run this diagnostic software and oftentimes it can tell you exactly what's wrong with your computer uh, so you don't have to waste time troubleshooting other things. So we're going to show you how to run that diagnostic software after we access it, uh, show you how to get through it, um, and then we'll have this video uh, to help you with your first step in Dell repair. Uh, we'll also be able to send it out to people that are looking for it. So uh, to start off, we'll start your computer, start, start tapping on F12 right away. It's, it's your boot options, F12. Okay, so this comes up. I'll, I'll zoom in on it for you. Yours may look a little different depending on what model computer you have, what the age is, uh, but this is how my boot menu looks that I access by tapping on F12. <clears throat> We're looking for diagnostics right here. So I'm going to arrow down and I'm going to enter to select diagnostics. Now this computer is just going to jump right into it. Your computer may give you more options. It may ask you to run a RAM test or a hard drive test or a memory test. Uh, it may ask you to do a, a quick test or an extended test. Um, but whatever op options it's giving you, you can start running these tests where you want to. Um, and this is going to test your hard drive and your RAM and a lot of other components to see um, if, if everything's working the way that it should, um, if anything's going wrong. So again, this is a really good first step in any issue you're having with your Dell. Access this diagnostic software. Uh, run this first as your first step in uh, troubleshooting your issue. And oftentimes, again, it can identify the problem. So this will just keep going through the test. We'll watch it go here, show you how to get through it. It's running a screen test right here. Were color bars displayed? Y and N, yes, no, so we'll hit Y. So you'll often see that test come up too. Some people get freaked out by that because sometimes those instructions are not very clear. They're a little faded. Um, so that's how you would get through that color bar segment. So we'll just let it run out. We could end the video right now and just tell you to follow the prompts, but we'll let it run out just so you can see the full length of of this thing testing. And again, your computer may take uh, faster based on your processing ability, or it, it may go slower. Th this computer is currently running a pretty good uh, i5 processor, so it's it's moving along at a pretty good pace. Um, but if you've got an older computer, it this may take a little longer. And then if you have a newer computer with a high-end, you know, i7 or whatever, this may take a little faster. So, but yeah, so this is how you would. Um, we're only five percent, so I'm not going to let it run out. But you basically follow the prompts. If it stops you at any point and says anything failed. Um, nothing's going to fail here. This is a healthy computer. But if it stops you that anything failed, um, it'll say like your hard drive failed or your memory um, or, or there's a RAM issue. Th that's what you want to replace. That's what you want to address. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. Um, if you don't understand the error it's giving you, if something failed and you don't understand it, leave us a comment. Tell us what the error was and we can help you on, on how to address that. So uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.